Hello everyone, and welcome to a basic rundown about physics in the third installment of the original Ratchet & Clank trilogy. Ratchet & Clank is a third-person platform shooter with a linear story where the end of the game is to progress through the plot by exploring different planets and defeat the bad guys while taking control of Ratchet, the protagonist. Got that? Then let us begin. Now that's out of the way, let's get into the meat. What kind of physics are involved here? Breaking them into a few categories, we'll talk about your movement in the game. In control of Ratchet, you can run in three dimensions and jump. But on top of this, there are many other ways to get around. You got side flips, strafing, wall jumps, grabbing ledges or ledge grab, and swimming both above and underwater. And that's not all, because the game is Ratchet and Clank, not just Ratchet. Clank is a robot that is on Ratchet's back. This little guy has a helipack, a jetpack, and a hydro pack. The helipack allows for a higher jump when jumping from a crouched position, long jumps for fast travel, and control Ratchet's falling by gliding. The jetpack is basically the same as a helipack, but the crouched jump is lower but faster, same for the long jump and gliding, but it adds an extra height to your double jump and to your side flips. The hydro pack just increases your underwater swimming speed. So, as you can see, Clank's pretty useful. And that's still not all. Oops. Ratchet doesn't walk on his bare feet anymore. He got himself some new pairs of knees and he intends to use them. They can defy the laws of gravity and boost Ratchet's speed by giving a massive boost. And that is that's not all. To finally end this, Ratchet has a hook to become Tarzan. So, what's good about all of this? Freedom. The massive amount of options in your disposal allows for a very high and precise movement control, and it makes you feel like Ratchet. That's cool and all, but what's bad? When a game allows for such a massive control, it's bound to get exploited and reveal glitches. And it can also alienate new players with all the movement options, even if some of the things that were previously mentioned are unlocked throughout the story. While it's somewhat of an easy to pick game, it is not friendly towards unexperienced players. So, in conclusion, Ratchet and Clank 3 is awesome, and you should play it. The movement is one of my favorite from the whole franchise, and we think it's overall a great game. Thanks for watching. Alright, that's it. I'll see you all next time, probably when Shell comes out.